Hello, it's Tracy Alba here and in today's video I will be discussing with you all major blue screen of death error that is inaccessible boot device. So previously also I made videos on DPC watchdog violation error which occur in blue screen of death. But in those videos I mainly focused on the topic blue screen of death. But it's not just a single topic. It has subtopics like I can or it but it's better to say that it has sub errors like data bus error, inaccessible boot device and these all are the major errors which cause the blue screen of death. So I'm starting a new series on my channel in which I'll be one by one covering all these major blue screen of death causing errors. So I'll be starting with this inaccessible boot device and I've got a few workarounds for this issue so let's get started. So first work around is clean booting your PC. So before performing any such operations to fix blue screen of death errors, every time we have to clean boot our PC and I have already made a video on this topic that is how to clean boot your PC easily. So you can go to this video by clicking on this card here appearing on the upper right corner of your screen or you can just go to the description of this video and find the link to that video. So that's it for the first step. Now let's come to the most important part of the video. So basically this problem has only one major workaround because when this error occurs, your screen is like this in which it shows inaccessible boot device and it keeps on restarting. Your PC keeps on restarting. So it's hard to demonstrate how to fix this error. So I've used screenshots to demonstrate the fix of this issue. So your PC restarts and it shows this screen your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart and after that it keeps restarting and a screen like this appears in which it's written that preparing automatic repair. After some time it shows diagnosing your PC and then a screen like this appears. So now the main part starts that is now you have to click on the advanced options. Now you just follow all the steps and most probably this issue will be resolved. So once you click on advanced options, you will be redirected to this screen. And on this screen, you have to click on troubleshoot. So once you click on troubleshoot, you will be redirected to this page and, in this, and on this page, click on advanced options. Once you click on the advanced options, here, click on command prompt. And once you click on the command prompt, here you can see all the users of your PC. So I only had one administrator account so and it is recommended to use the administrator account to solve this part so just click on the administrator and in administrator type the password of your PC or laptop whatever you are ha having so type your password and click on continue then once you have written your password you will be redirected to this command prompt screen here you have to type C and this colon and once you press enter, now you are in the C drive. After that, you have to type CD Windows slash System32. CD space Windows slash System32. After that, you will be in System32. And here, you have to type CD space config. So, all, what we have to do is we have to enter the config folder in System32. So, here we write CD space config. So once you write cd space config, you will be in the configuration folder and to see the elements of the configuration folder, type dir in capital and press enter. It will show all the components. Once you press enter, it will show all the components of the config folder. And here you can see their SAM, security, default, system and software. These are the major files that we have to replace so once you open this here type cd space r e g b a c k registration backup it is so here we've got this registration backup folder inside the configuration folder so we have to enter this folder so as you can see as it's not really visible so it is r e g 
BACK registration backup so once you press enter you are now in registration backup folder and to see the elements of this folder just again write DIR now you will be redirected to this registration backup folder so you can see in this registration backup you have default folder sem folder security folder software folder and system folder and you've got these all these five files in this config folder also default sam security system and software so to fix this problem the main focus of our workaround is to replace all these files present in the registration backup folder to the config folder so now we have to copy these files and paste it in config folder and replace them so to replace them we have to rename them because it's not as simple as copy paste we have to do it through command prompt so now what you have to do is type here cd dot dot and press enter when you type cd dot dot and press enter you will be in the config folder and here you have to type this r e n space default space default one this means in the config folder you are renaming default full default file to default one now similarly you have to rename sam to sam1 then rename security to security1 then software to software1 and system to system1 after that write cd space registration back that is again you have to go to registration backup folder and once you are th in this folder that is registration backup just type copy copy space asterisk this is asterisk sign that is the star on your keyboard majorly used for multiplication purposes then after asterisk space c colon slash windows slash system 32 slash config please have a look at it carefully while typing and once you press enter all these five files that is default system security software and system will be copied in your config folder now all you have to do is just press cd dot dot just type cd dot dot and now you will be in the config folder again and press and again type dir that is now you will be redirected to the config folder once you press enter this dir and press enter so now you can see after you type dir you will be in the config folder and in config folder value of default is zero value of sam is zero value of software is zero value of system is zero so now all these files that you replaced have value zero and are new and this is the major problem this was the major problem that these values were not zero now they are zero so now your pc will work fine now all you have to do is exit this window so now just type exit type c window system 32 config and just type exit and press enter once you press enter you will be redirected to this screen where you have to choose an option where you have to press turn off your pc and once you restart your pc your pc will boot perfectly in 90 percent cases but if it still doesn't work perfectly then it's most probably a hardware issue so that's it for this step and it was the most important part of the video so that is how you can fix inaccessible boot device error that is a blue screen of death error and if you like this video please hit the like button below also write in the comment section if you have any queries and if you want to stay updated on the upcoming videos in this series on blue screen of death errors then don't forget to subscribe to my channel that is pc helper thank you and have a nice day